Welcome back to a universe of mystery. Today, we delve into a captivating mystery surrounding British actor Julian Sands, an avid hiker and lover of the outdoors. It all started on a fateful Friday evening in the breathtaking Mount Baldy area, a rugged and challenging terrain, especially during winter conditions. Reported missing on January 13th, 2023, by his wife at the age of 65, Julian Sands embarked on a solo hiking adventure, heading towards the perilous Mount Baldy. The news of his disappearance sent the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Air Operation crews into action, tirelessly scouring the mountain as weather conditions permitted. His car was found at the Manker Flats trailhead area, adding to the puzzling nature of the case. For those unfamiliar with Julian Sands, he is renowned for his appearances in a variety of films, including classics like Room with a View, Arachnophobia, and Warlock. He has even portrayed diverse roles in television shows like 24, Smallville, and Banshee. As the search for Julian continued, the mountain itself has proven to be treacherous. With 14 rescue missions being undertaken by sheriff's officials, unfortunately resulting in loss of lives, including 56-year-old Crystal Gonzalez Landis, a devoted hiker and mother of four, who tragically slid down Mount Baldy over 500 feet. Despite the risks and warnings, the allure of the outdoors still calls to adventurous souls. In the midst of this baffling disappearance, the San Gabriel Mountains have also been the focus of search efforts for the 61-year-old body of Bob Gregory of Hawthorne, California, yet another hiker who vanished without a trace. Now let's dive deeper into Julian Sands' illustrious career. Born on January 4, 1958, Julian's acting journey began in the early 80s and persisted until the very day that he vanished. His talent shone brightly in movies like The Killing Fields, Boxing Awena, Leaving Las Vegas, and A Room with a View. More recently, he was involved in Project Seneca, a film centered around the creation of earthquakes. Julian Sands' disappearance has garnered international attention, with close friends like John Malkovich publicly expressing their concern and grief. The question lingers in everyone's mind, what could have happened to Julian Sands? Was it an unforeseen accident or something more enigmatic? As we explore the circumstances leading up to his disappearance, we must remain cautious, especially when venturing into challenging terrains like Mount Baldy, where nature can be both beautiful and unforgiving. Join us as we dive into this captivating case, analyzing every aspect of Julian Sands' life, his love for the outdoors, and what may have compelled him to take on the majestic Mount Baldy. So grab your hiking gear and let's embark on this captivating journey together. Julian Sands, a man who truly embraced the great outdoors and physical activity. For Julian, hiking was not just a hobby, it was a way to hit the reset button and find balance amid the demands of his profession. In his own words, he declared, I'm happiest being close to the mountain summit on a glorious cold morning. But what made this particular morning different from the rest? Before delving deeper into Julian's disappearance, let's first explore the majestic Mount Baldy and the San Bernardino mountain area. Gaining an understanding of the challenges both Julian and the search and rescue teams faced. Mount Baldy, Though a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts, has a dark and unfortunate past, having claimed the lives of many hikers over the years. News reports have often highlighted the dangers of this mountain, and Julian is not the first to vanish without a trace. Unfortunately, others before him have met similar fates, some found deceased with injuries ranging from falls to exposure, while others have never been located or ever seen again. Situated in the San Gabriel Mountains of San Bernardino County, California, Mount Baldy is surrounded by a picturesque national forest. The area boasts a rich history dating back a century, with various tales to be told, but we will focus on the key elements of the Julian Sands case for now. The climate on Mount Baldy exhibits extremes, with temperatures plummeting to negative 10 degrees during cooler months and soaring close to 100 degrees in the warmer ones. Annual snowfall ranges between 50 to 60 inches, accompanied by frequent precipitation. 
Despite its challenges, Mount Baldy remains open year-round and attracts thousands of visitors each season. The mountain offers a range of hikes to suit diverse preferences and skills. Among the popular trails are the 10-mile Bridge to Nowhere and East Fork Trail, the 1.5-mile San Antonio Falls Trail, the 11-mile Mount Baldy Notch Trail, and the 12-mile Ice House Canyon to the Cucamonga Peak Trail, to name just a few. These hikes vary in difficulty, from easy strolls to advanced treks, appealing to hikers of all types. While the specific trail Sands chose is not mentioned in the search and rescue details, it is likely he opted for the Mount Baldy Summit Trail. This trail, considered the easiest route to the peak at an impressive 10,069 feet in elevation, starts at the top of Notch Restaurant and follows the Devil's Backbone, spanning approximately seven miles round trip with an elevation gain of 2,200 feet. Alternatively, some hikers opt for the service road from the ski area parking lot to the top of Knott's Restaurant, a shorter six-mile option with a more strenuous elevation gain of 3,500 feet. Reaching the summit offers a breathtaking reward, a vast, flat, and treeless panoramic view of Southern California's cities, deserts, mountains, and oceans, which aptly earns the mountain its name, Mount Baldy. Given Julian's adventurous spirit, he may have taken a more challenging route to the summit, but specific details to support this theory remain elusive. The search and rescue effort focused on the location where he was last seen, leaving us wondering what they had to say about the circumstances of his disappearance. Let's delve deeper into the surrounding geography, as it plays a crucial role in understanding the challenges Julian faced. The vast Angeles National Forest, spanning approximately 700,000 acres, engulfs the San Gabriel and the Sierra Polona Mountains. Established in 1908, this national forest primarily lies within LA County, with a small portion extending into southwestern San Bernardino County. With this expanse, one can find several nationally designated wilderness areas, each with its unique charm. The Cucamonga Wilderness, the Magic Mountain Wilderness, Pleasant View Ridge Wilderness, the San Gabriel Wilderness, and Sheep Mountains Wilderness. With so much wilderness to explore, one can easily see how it can be easy to get lost in this vast and beautiful landscape. A significant factor in Julian's case was the weather. As mentioned earlier, the conditions in January were far from favorable. The winter season in the area can be harsh, with powerful storms battering the region one after the other, bringing severe winter weather. Unfortunately, it so happened that Julian entered the park during one of the most challenging times of the year, making the search effort even more complicated. The search effort was massive and involved the collaboration of hundreds of professional search and rescue personnel from various agencies, making it one of the largest search operations in modern times. Agencies like the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department, Fontana Sheriff's Station, West Valley Search and Rescue Division, the California Highway Patrol, local and state law enforcement, and park officials all came together to coordinate the first round of searches. Initially, the focus was on the Mount Baldy area, but as time went on, the search zone expanded to include surrounding trails and wilderness areas within the Angeles National Forest. Searchers attempted to narrow down their efforts by focusing on a specific area of the trail where the California Highway Patrol's RICO device indicated a possible electronic signal during the early days of the investigation. Julian's silver Volvo was found at the trailhead, covered in a thin layer of snow, suggesting that it had been sitting untouched for several days by that point. However, there were no clues inside the vehicle to indicate what might have happened to Julian, and everything appeared to be in order. Despite the dedication and the use of technology, such as canines, helicopters, drones with FLIR technology, the search efforts were continuously hampered by relentless winter storms, forcing operations to halt for days at a time. On February 25th, a month after Julian's disappearance, the search effort was scaled back due to lack of leads, limited resources, and the persistent winter weather. The heartbreaking realization that the effort had to shift from a rescue to a recovery operation weighed heavily on everyone involved, including Julian's friends and family, 
who were holding on to hope for a safe return. Regrettably, Julian's case is not an isolated incident. Over the years, since 2020, more than 100 search operations have been conducted for missing hikers on Mount Baldy, resulting in six confirmed fatalities as of February 2023. This somber statistic paints an even darker picture of the treacherous winter conditions that plague the mountain at the start of each new year. As we continue our exploration, we must now consider the possibilities of what occurred in the vast wilderness of Mount Baldy during those winter days. The challenges posed by the environment and the history of previous missing hikers serves as a reminder of the perils that can befall even the most experienced adventurers in this breathtaking yet unforgivable landscape. Let us proceed with caution and empathy as we seek to uncover the truth behind Julian Sands' enigmatic disappearance amidst the stunning but unpredictable wilderness of Mount Baldy. According to the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, Julian was one of three hikers who went missing in the Mount Baldy area during the month of January. Jin Chung, a 75-year-old man from North Hollywood, was reported missing on Sunday, January 22nd, after his hike at Mount Baldy. Fortunately, he was found safe a few days later, although he did suffer from some weather-related injuries. On January 18th, another hiker, 61-year-old Robert Gregory from Hawthorne, California went missing after failing to return home from his hike near Mount Islip, located in the Angeles National Forest. Sadly, Mr. Gregory's body was discovered exactly one month later, on February 18th, approximately 300 feet below the summit of Mount Islip. Even for the experienced outdoor enthusiast, Mount Baldy can prove to be treacherous and yield disastrous results if not properly prepared. The dangers that lurk on the mountain should serve as a stern reminder of the importance of adequate preparation and caution. Unfortunately, despite these dangers, the allure of the outdoors and the spirit of adventure will likely continue to draw people to explore the wilderness. One possible scenario that comes to mind about Julian Sands' disappearance, albeit an unfortunate one, is the kind we fear but anticipate given the history of accidents on Mount Baldy. It is not difficult to imagine a similar scenario playing out for Julian, as it takes just one wrong move or being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Julian could have suffered a fall, leaving him trapped or incapacitated. The weather on January 13th did not offer much forgiveness, with temperatures ranging from the upper 40s during the day to freezing at night, accompanied by high winds, sleet, and snow. Hypothermia from exposure could have been a significant risk, but if that were the case, why were the searchers unable to find him? In such situations, when a person becomes injured or exposed to the elements, they often get disoriented, losing their sense of direction. Lost hikers can end up in areas that seem to defy logic, straying completely off course from their intended routes. Dehydration sets in over time, leading individuals to make poor decisions out of desperation, much like those lost at sea who may drink seawater or attempt to reach an imaginary island caused by a mirage. In the wilderness, a similar phenomenon can occur in an emergency situation, with people wandering into oblivion, eventually being swallowed up by the unforgiving wilderness. Although animal predation is possible, there is no evidence to suggest that it played a role in Julian's disappearance. Mount Baldy is not excessively tall, and predators like mountain lions are more likely to be seen in lower elevations during colder months in search of food. Nonetheless, the rugged environment of Mount Baldy poses enough natural dangers, and Julian's case serves as a stark reminder of the importance of preparation and respect for nature's unpredictability. Another less explored scenario revolves around the potential of foul play. While it may seem far-fetched, we have all heard the disturbing stories of obsessed fans fixated on their favorite celebrities. Although Julian's disappearance might not have been linked to such a scenario, we cannot dismiss the possibility of encountering individuals with sinister intentions in remote areas. Alternatively, it could have been a simple exchange gone awry, or Julian might have unintentionally angered someone else on the trail. In the past, unfortunate accidents have occurred due to carelessness, as seen in the 2007 incident where a hiker's life was lost due to rocks tossed carelessly down a mountain, oblivious to those below. 
Delving into Julian's personal life, it is worth considering whether he might have been experiencing deeper personal struggles that were unknown to the public. Although he enjoyed a successful acting career, could he have felt stagnant or unfulfilled? The stresses of an ever-changing industry might have led him to seek solace in the outdoors, as he often did to balance his professional life. Nonetheless, such feelings can pass with time, but for some, they may prove overwhelming. At times, the allure of escape can be strangely appealing, but I don't imply that Julian had any desire to disappear. We can't ignore the possibility, as we've seen in other cases where individuals sought such an escape. While I personally do not believe this scenario in Julian's case, it is essential to explore every angle to uncover the truth. The events leading up to his disappearance remain a mystery, making it difficult to determine exactly what transpired on that day. However, something tells me that the answers we seek may not be too far away, and perhaps once found, we'll realize the clues were right in front of us all along. Intriguingly, overconfidence could be a factor worth considering. Oftentimes, we hear stories of experienced outdoor enthusiasts who, despite their familiarity with the area, bite off more than they can chew. Positive experiences on previous trips may not guarantee the same outcome on subsequent ones. Hence, it is essential to remain vigilant and prepared, even in familiar territories. In the case of Julian's disappearance, we cannot help but feel that this case is shrouded in uncertainty, much like the enigmatic persona of Julian himself. Apart from the myriad roles he portrayed in the illustrious career that he had, Julian was captivating in his own right. Many were drawn to his charisma, wisdom, kindness, and friendship. Yet, despite his admirable qualities, Julian remained somewhat of a mystery, concealing aspects of himself from the world. On June 24, 2023, the news of Julian Sands' tragic end has deeply saddened the world. A body discovered in the wilderness near Mount Baldy, California, has now been officially confirmed to be that of the missing British actor. After transporting the body to the coroner's office for identification, the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department released a statement stating that the body had been positively identified as Julian Sands, the 65-year-old actor. The search for Julian Sands had been a coordinated effort by the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department with Mount Baldy's challenging terrain in the San Gabriel Mountains, providing to be a formidable obstacle for rescuers. The inclement weather hampered the ground searches, causing delays and difficulty in finding Sands. Despite the effort of over 80 people in a renewed search on the 17th of June, they were unable to locate him. Consequently, the Sheriff's Office made the difficult decision to scale back the search. Julian Sands' family, in their first statement in four months, expressed their profound gratitude to the search teams and spoke of their enduring love for the actor, remembering him as a wonderful father, husband, explorer, and lover of the natural wonder and of the arts. John Malkovich, a close friend of Julian Sands for four decades since they met on the set of The Killing Fields in 1983, paid a heartfelt tribute to him. As their film Seneca on the creation of earthquakes premiered at the Berlin Film Festival in February, Malkovich expressed his deep affection for Sands and the tremendous loss felt by all who knew him. He described Sands as exceptionally clever and an exceptional storyteller, adding that their friendship allowed them to talk about anything with each other. Julian Sands was not only known for his talent and versatility as an actor, but also cherished for his engaging personality, sense of humor, and ability to connect with others. As the world mourns the loss of this exceptional individual, we remember him for the impact he left on the lives of those who were fortunate enough to know him. May his memory live on, and may he continue to inspire us through his contributions to the arts and the enduring connections he forged with his loved ones and friends. If you've enjoyed this content from a universe of mystery, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new and upcoming content.